Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this uh, video, we are going to see how to make this bridge in Rhino, not in Grasshopper. Like uh, we are going to use sub D command, and let's see how to make this. Okay, it's so simple, but uh, making this model, looking at the uh, image or like uh, looking at a design, it's so simple. But when you create your own build uh, design, that uh, comes the difficulty. So the person who created this is really a master, like a mastermind, which I really like this bridge, the work of the person who did this. Uh, so I'm just trying to replicate it to understand the concept and uh, to teach some Rhino commands by this process. So before we are going to make this uh, bridge, you just need to do one major thing, which is really important. Okay. So if you don't do it, like it will be very difficult to make this video. So let's first, uh, you just need to open any like a uh, uh, like Google Chrome or like Edge. Like open this. You see, uh, like this is my two channels. Please press the subscribe button or like do the subscribe. Uh, uh, subscribe and press the bell button, which will be so helpful for me as well as you, so that I it will be no, you will be notified whenever I post some videos. So right now let's go into the model. So you see this is the image I just downloaded from uh, Arc Daily. If I'm not wrong, you can just search it or I'll just give the description, uh, the link in the description, so you can do it. Okay. Let's move this like zero comma zero comma zero for now. So and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the opacity of the image. Okay, this is fine. So that it is easy for me. Oh, we can over the overlap. Now I'm going to use line command. You see, I created the line over here, and uh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so I created uh, three curves maybe. Okay, so let's hide this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the curves, which is not necessary for me. So you just need to create something like this. I go to sub D tool. So now multi line pipe, see multi pipe, sub D multi pipe. So now let's give enter. Ah, it's too close, it's too big. So maybe like let's give like 10, not bad. So this is what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the curves. Okay. On the edge of uh, the sub D which we created, that is the multi line pipe. Now I'm going to use add crease because I just want to delete the bottom part. So if I added the crease, then I don't, the, when I delete the bottom, it doesn't affect the top. So now let's see, okay. I just check whether there is any knot over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, turn on the points. So in this like uh, selection filter, like turn off everything. Uh, if you don't have this part type uh, selection filter, selection filter and you will get this, okay. And now we got it, the, we can select the points. Now go to standard like uh, you can see here like set xyz coordinate icon use set so okay so now okay now i just turn it on everything so you can use control plus shift to uh, delete all the bottom part like you can do like a sub object select using control plus shift 
I just need to check one thing. Yeah, so it's not pinched because like if it's pinched, then uh, you won't see the smooth transition. It will be like not smooth. So let's see the image maybe. Okay. Okay. So it is so big. So I use uh, Shift Plus Control to select the sub object. Now let's use Move. Okay. I just uh, go to select curves which uh, like don't uh, uh, like hide it for now uh, like okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and move this a little not too much okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. Okay. Move this. Okay. And now I'm going to select this. And uh, now I'm just going to move this. So I'm just selecting this. Uh, vertices by using shift plus control so you can select the sub object of any component like using shift plus control so i am just selecting the vertices over here of the sub d and you see like don't use uh, blue by any chance because blue gives blue arrow for like z axis but uh, i want it to be like flat okay not bad let's move this here okay uh, let's move this over here okay i'm just like moving so if you want you can skip this part like to because like i'm just aligning uh, this, uh, I'm just aligning this uh, towards the drawing, the big image which I'm using. So you don't need to watch this like a step by step. You just need to understand what I'm doing, like how I'm doing. So I'm just like my videos are mostly uh, like to understand this command, uh, like how can we do this. So I just focus on that first. So. Let's select this sub D. Let's move. Okay. Yeah. So now uh, we can move a little, maybe. Yeah. Now let's work on the sub D vertices. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not making an exact replica, but something similar, like something resembles like the same like bridge. It won't be an exact, but when you see it, you will just identify that hey, this is this bridge. It will be, it will be an identifier. Okay, sorry. It will, it will be an identifier level. I don't, uh, I'm just moving this over here. Okay. So, okay, for now, this is fine. This is not bad, okay? I can maybe like, uh, I can move this maybe like here maybe and i just move this over here the center part is being like okay okay 
so this is fine now what I am doing is like I am going to do is like uh, let's turn on this switch I don't need let's no I just select the curves delete it because I don't need this curve anymore like I just like before now let's think uh, this is the midpoint 0 comma 0 I'm just changing the midpoint because in the image if I take the image midpoint then it's not the exact midpoint of the structure the same way when I take structure midpoint it is not the exact uh, midpoint when I create a structure that's why so I use this sub D which I created Ma uh, sorry now I'm going to use mirror over here that's why I just aligned or like reposition exactly no, the sub D mirror 0 comma 0 comma 0 and now I just move this over here so now I am just like adjusting Like this, okay. And okay. So now I just adjusted this. Now uh, let's move this over here. Mm, let's take uh, this part and like uh, let's move it here. Now uh, let's move this a little bit like this. So I am just adjusting it uh, like uh, it's just uh, like a boring process to see in a video but uh, you can like as i said before you can uh, uh, skip this if you want um, but uh, like we can do it by yourself without watching the video like watching the video like exactly at this point but i'm just trying to like change this because like this is how you can play with sub d you can like literally you can blend it not blend it you can create a surface based on your way So I just work on my ways. So let's hide this maybe. So I just like hide this. Okay. Hide this now. Let's try to Okay So, 
let's add this ring yeah this is like i i understood like you guys are like uh why like if you want i can first like i can this a time lapse over here um, Okay, so now we got something similar. Uh, so now, okay, not bad. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this part edge. Align. To line yeah, so now this has been aligned okay Uh, let's align like this okay so this is like fine right now I just need to uh, like uh, change this okay Okay. I don't want this to be overlap, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, okay. Okay, for now let's let's select this. Let's align this for now. Okay, we will all uh, adjust it when we create the surface like a uh, like we'll go to this side right now this is not bad okay now let's select the edge okay i don't need the image for now so let's select this align to line Line to line, it has been aligned. It's the same way, so you can see it's not touched. The same way, let's see the image once. Okay, so let's touch the idea. Align to line. So this has been aligned. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the vertex like this, and I'm going to select this vertex like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the top. Maybe like just from random height. Okay, it's not like exact height. I'm just moving this so. So this part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub D. Uh, it is 
okay same way i am going to increase the subdivision now what i am going to do is like i am going to select this part maybe and i am going to create rotate 3d like select this as the axis and now i just like select it like proportionally uh, okay Okay, something proportional, okay? Because anyways, I'm going to align this so it won't be a problem. The same way. I think the height is little higher. But it's fine. Okay. Now let's select this. Okay. Now uh, let's use rotate. 3D. It should be proportional because I'm mean, this is not the final work which we are going to do. So I'll just do a lot of I'll do just do other another part in this so which will be correct. It should be like kind of proportional, like like just make sure it is like touch to the same surface, something like that. Okay, like now let's see this part. Uh, yeah, so this is now connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edge over here And I'm going to select the edge for this And you just like uh, go to top maybe Like use align To line Okay so you can see it's been aligned okay so that's what i'm trying to say like uh, it's not a problem but make sure it at least just like closer align to line so same way I'm going to select this our line to line okay so we got it here so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to bridge this so sorry bridge So to bridge here, like make sure this point is not connected, okay? You see it's not connected. If it's connected, then it won't be bridged. So make sure like some people, like uh, it will be like creating a problem. So make sure it's not touched. So, okay. So let's try this. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Okay, this is not exact, okay, by the way, like this is just a proportional way to do it, okay. I'm just saying because like some people might come and go, oh, it's not like exact. I'm sorry, bro, but uh, I'm not planning to do the exact way. So you got something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and uh, I'm going to create more. Like I'm going to select this again, and you see this is like insert it create it insert a sub D loop. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to select this align to line the same way. Like I'm going to select this curve align to line. 
okay this one this to be like created a lot more I'll, uh, no, I just like want this to be like align maybe align to line no I think this is fine okay I think this is fine Let, let's align this part also Align so that it is more like smoother on the top, but it's not as okay. Let's go with this itself. Okay, so we are going to do the same on this side. So before that, let's turn on the image to we'll check it from the top. Ha uh, hi this problem I just like okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, like move this based on the image so this is fine this part is fine so, like uh, Move this over here. Okay, not bad. Okay, this part is like fine. So now what I'm going to do is uh, because like now we created this smooth surface which we are like okay now I just need to create something similar over here. Like what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, more curves. Align to line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create more curves like this manager so I'm going to select this set like I don't know why this task manager is opening again and again so let's create more heads over here because when you have this more um, like more curve it is easy to control like uh, more sub object like sub object like subdivision it is more easy to control so that's what i'm trying to do like i create this go to top then again like this in the center let's hit this okay this is what i need but not exactly like this okay this is fine so now let's go to do this the same on the side both the sides align 
two line so that on this side it is more flatter because like uh, it should be flatter on the side like it should not be too much um, like how to say it should not be like too much curvy on the side it should be in the okay this is for now it's fine so okay this sub d is like not bad okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to offset sub d actually there are some problems which i face is like i think i created a like uh what is it i created like the surface little more higher so now i just hide this yeah the sub the surface so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create contour okay so now the contour has been created So I created the extrusion. Let's see the mesh over here. I actually don't need these things. So now let's try this. So now let's. I just like created like too much detail curve. The height. Like uh, because like I the right was random right so it was like it created too much curves like let's create contour 0 0.25 0.25 Okay, this is also too much, but not bad like the old one. Okay, okay, so you can delete the one which you don't need. Because like uh, the thickness of the sub D changes, and the contour lines created is changes. So I just uh, delete the curves, which I'm not a great fan. Like uh, because there's no the exact uh, replica. Like there's like the uh, like. Trying to create something similar, which I been based on my knowledge. Okay. So let's try to turn it on. Okay. Okay. Which I don't need these things. Okay, so this is like okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like uh, uh if I'm not wrong, no. Okay. Wait, is it okay? Yeah, this is poly surface. Select the poly surface. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a like a, a railing. So, I'm just selecting the edge. So 
you can exchange it maybe but I'm just like uh, just like uh, using the traditional way to select H because in this case I just uh, get a chance to check just like whether it's properly uh, like created or not so this is like uh, I think the one I'm making is like uh, it resembles it gives some similar resemblance of the image which I show if yes please uh, mention in the comment section if no I'm so sorry next time I'll try to replicate it more uh, exactly or else I'll try to re-upload a video if you don't think it's interesting to like that I'm sorry for that okay okay so the That's true. Mm. Okay. okay. Control J. Offset surface. Just don't need this image anymore. Ah, okay. So what I can do is like if you want something like a uh, uh, more resemblance, it looks like uh, this part is being biased a little. If I'm not wrong. And, uh, So I'm just selecting all the curves. So you can change it however you want. That's the good thing in sub D. Um, but right now I'm just like um, creating something similar. Okay, I know this is not exactly the same, um, but something similar. Offset surface. No, I don't want it to be offset surface because offset sub D. So if you want, uh, you can also change this part. Like. Uh, I like connecting to this part like but I'm not exactly sure uh, okay so you can work like however you want like uh, if you want uh, you can uh, blend uh, uh, go to sub d tool uh, it's like bridge 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 Can this and uh, you can delete this.
you can delete and you can bridge everything but right now i'm not doing it. it's like it's more little more complicated so so i think uh, it's done for now maybe like some place it doesn't resemble like exactly the same but this is the process it can be replicated so if you have any other doubts please let me know and uh, thank you for watching the video uh, have a good day bye bye see you and please don't forget to subscribe